Is your middle path intended to unite all philosophies under one banner? Is that your intention? Or are you just looking to give the philosophical centrist like yourself an alternative, another place to go? Are you looking to usurp the left-hand path, right-hand path dichotomy? Or just looking to offer an alternative? I am definitely looking to offer an alternative. Um, whatever path, path, or religion, or way, whatever, uh, an individual or group chooses to identify with is their own business. Um, if the middle path is going to usurp anything, uh, it, would, it would be the oppressive forces that restrict growth and personal freedom. So, as far as a path goes, you know, that would be kind of the goal. Um, anything that would be hindering personal growth, personal freedom, anything that would be oppressive, pressing their will into other people's lives, uh, on a, especially on a collective scale, uh, the middle path would, um, that's one of the goals of the middle path would be to kind of um, balance that out, equalize it, neutralize it, so to speak. Now this, this next question is a big one in my mind. You want to draw from the left-hand path and the right-hand path. You want to pull from these two different sides. What is it that you're going to pull? What is it about the left-hand path that you think is worthy of emulating in your middle path? And what about the right-hand path? What is it about the right-hand path that you think is worthy of practice within your middle path? And then how are you bringing the two together? How are you actually going to apply these things to make the middle path distinct, more than just a conglomeration of the two halves, but actually make it something that taking from here and here propels you further forward than just staying on this side or that side. You know, a wiser man than, my, than me said once that a ladder has to have two legs to stand. You know, I've never heard that shit. It's old shit. So I think that's kind of where you're going. I just wonder what it is you're building those legs on, what it is that's going to form those rungs, and where it's going, how you're getting there. So that's the purpose of that question. The biggest part of the right-hand path that I'm going to pull from uh, is the aspect of unity uh, and community. The strength in numbers is a necessary thing for concepts to grow and to survive. Uh, the biggest part of the left-hand path I'll be uh, drawing upon is individualism and self-awareness. The two combined, one, number one, knowing yourself, your strengths, your limitations, realizing your part of, you know, realizing your part in things uh, not just within yourself, which was the first part, but things that lay outside yourself, community, uh, on a transcendental level, the, ma the macrocosm, etc. Uh, no man is an island. Uh, discern carefully from others. Uh, discern carefully from others. You know, judging the source too. If there are any inherent flaws that you are not aware of, so that you can uh, also correct them, making yourself stronger. Uh, again, returning back to the tit for tat strategy. Uh, within the middle path, one realizes the conflict within the world is inherent and unavoidable. Okay, uh, there are several methods in which these conflicts can be resolved. Uh, you need to observe different strategies and employ them for yourselves. There's really no 100% clear way. You have to find out through trial and error what works for you. Um, after realizing within yourself how uh, you can benefit mankind. Uh, most of all, do it for yourself. You know, you, you're doing things in the middle path for yourself, but you're also doing it for mankind. It's kind of a, a quid pro quo like that as well. Uh, there will be elements of... I've, I've also debated whether I'm going to draw elements of ritual for the express purpose of uh, broadening awareness and uh, consciousness. Uh, another idea I've been toying with is uh, perhaps the creation of a new mythos uh, more up to date, you know, which includes like the human condition combined with, um, you know, our understanding of the day, and creating rituals to celebrate our awareness and how far we've come in life. You know, from, for example, you would open up what would consider, be considered a holy book. You would open it up, and Genesis would be like the Big Bang. Exodus would be like, uh, you know, the dinosaurs, the Triassic period, etc. You would actually have a Bible, or a holy book that would actually have, you know our understanding, the things that we've come up, you know, that science has uh, explained away in our understanding of the day. I think that would be a beautiful religion, you know, to kind of follow right behind science. Now back to my 
initial point. How do you respond to people like me? People like me who say, why the path thing? Why the identifier? I mean, that doesn't make sense to me. It's, it hasn't made sense to me for a while now. The, the identification. Why have that identifier? If you're about thinking for yourself, if you're about self-determination, if you're about picking and choosing, and actually having some freedom in your head, well then why try to limit yourself to a banner? Whether it's left-hand path, right-hand path, middle path, why do that? Why should people sign on to this concept and go, I'm middle path. What is it, you know, what is the, are, are the cookies better at your house or what? I know I'm, I'm making fun, I'm sorry, man. I, I'm trying to be serious though. What is it you got going on? What is it that you think is worth joining this concept? What about your concept makes it uh, more valid, I did it again, more valid than say having no path or doing your own path? Not asking people to join on, not asking for you know membership, not asking for people to sign your petition. You just do your own thing. You have your own path. What makes the middle path distinct from that point of view? And why is it more legitimate than that point of view, just doing your own thing? Ah, see, it's not about which is more legitimate. Uh, doing your own thing and leaving an identifier can and should be uh, respected by those in the middle path. The middle path exists as a stabilizer uh, should any forces, should any oppressive forces arise. It's for those who realize the extent of how the oppressive forces work and are willing to collaborate and to unify against those forces. At the same time, working towards getting those forces to change their tune. Like, you know, we have no problem if you want to believe in something differently. You know, just don't try to push it into other people's lives. You say it's artificial. It doesn't truly exist. You're exactly right. Um, the purpose for creating an artificial construct, uh, in my opinion, is twofold. Number one, being transcendental, and number two, being uh, political. Um, quoting from Aleister Crowley, one of my favorite quotes from him is, uh, there are bonds which lead to slavery and bonds which lead to freedom. And even Gurdjieff, who you, know, you quoted from in your last video, stayed, you know, was big on the idea of schools and big on the idea of, um, you know, and schools are in and of themselves kind of an artificial environment, but they get people learning. They get people to uh, transcend what they normally were and to become something better. Um, artificial constructs exist for the purpose of pushing awareness and expanding consciousness. Uh, once those constructs have been transcended, those limits can be tossed aside. The path identifier indicates that this is a way and that it is leading somewhere, you know. So on the mundane level, you know, where is it leading to? Simple, out there, into the world, into the mundane, etc. Manifestation, you know, like I said, on a personal level, it's transcendental, and uh, the second part of it is a, uh, a path which is political. Where is that path leading? Uh, I'll talk more about that right now. Now, throughout history, you may notice that religions you know, whether you call them right-hand path, Abrahamic, whatever, they tend to be uh, constrictive and oppressive. Their path, as it were, is a dominating force that pushes its will and its agenda into people's lives and into politics. You know, you can see this everywhere. The path within the identifier middle path takes on a more mundane characteristic in the sense that it is leading towards the goal of equalizing or canceling out that oppressive force so that uh, the opportunity for growth, personal growth or otherwise, may be allowed. Uh, the preferred method of this middle path that I'm uh, discussing is tit-for-tat strategy, and it's a strategy that employs, um, you know, peace at certain times, adversarial conflict at certain times. Um, it's neither 100% one or the other. Part of my whole synthesization of a middle path is to lead ultimately lead to that freedom and negate um, a lot of the damage that uh, you know, most right-hand path and uh, Abrahamic religions have done. I'm hoping that you take these questions seriously and you provide some stimulating answers, and I'm looking forward to it. Fuck it. Okay, so um, if there are any more questions, please let me know. Video response, I've added.